It's Ben here, and here in this quick video, we're gonna have a look at how we move clips around on the timeline in Final Cut Pro when we're working with layers. So this is really important to understand how we can actually make sure we're moving all the different layers together if we need to. So we're developing a bit of control over how we work with these layers and understanding how those connected layers are working together within Final Cut Pro. So let's dive right in here. So in Final Cut Pro, we have a timeline here, a couple of different clips, and then we have this section, which is layered where I'm talking about this boat trip. And essentially what I wanna do is move this clip with all of the layers. Now, what's important to understand here is that each of these layers is connected to the main storyline here. So all the layers that I'm highlighting now are on the main storyline, which if we scroll along, is this kind of darker area that we see down on our timeline. So if we have a look at these clips, they look like they're just layered up, but if we try and move them, then you'll see that they actually have a little purple bar for the type here that is connecting it to the main storyline. So when I move this back here, this purple bar is connected to this graffiti clip just before the clip I actually wanna move it with. And the same for the adjustment layer here, so you can see it's connected to that graffiti clip. So if we pull that back down, and you can see that this layer of myself talking with the transitions is also connected. So when I pull this away, you can see that bar connected at the beginning. Now what this means is that if I move my graffiti clip, then those layers are gonna move with that clip. But I don't wanna move them with this clip, I wanna move them with this boat clip because that is the one that I'm talking about here that the title relates to here in the overlay. So in order to do that, we actually need to change something for these clips. So just to illustrate this, I'm gonna pull this clip across the right here and you can see where that connected line is. If I hold down Option and Command and click again, it's gonna move that line. So you can see now I've moved that line part way through the video. And that's allowing me to connect two different layers. If I come back here and I pop this back in the right spot, we'll probably have to adjust these a little bit to get everything layered up. So essentially, I'm gonna hold down Option, Command, and then just click so that everything is connecting to this boat layer. So now you can see as I click through all of those, it's a little hard to see with all these layers up, but essentially I've got all those clips now connected to this boat clip. So you can see I've moved these three lines. If I lift this up, you can see the line for the overlaid narrator talking. You can see the line for the type is connected all the way down to the boat trip, and you can see the line for the adjustment layer. If I just lift this all the way up, has a line going down all the way to that boat trip as well. So we'll just make sure all these are in the right order. So now this means that if I click and hold this boat trip, when I move it along the timeline, all those other clips that are connected to this or associated with this are gonna move as well. So it's a real nice way of associating those clips to different clips. So if I move these, obviously it can move away from that boat clip and you can see the connected line and that is gonna connect wherever I want it to. So if I need to move something to a different clip, then all I'm doing is holding down Option and Command and clicking once on this clip. And you can see now I've moved that line for the Boat Trip Adventure title at the top there to connect to this kind of cloud. So I'm gonna move that back, Option, Command and click. And now again, it's kind of connected to that storyline. If you wanna move something without it, moving those layered clips above, we can hold down the tilde key, which is just below escape on my keyboard, and we can move this around. And you can see that allows me to shuffle these clips without moving those connected clips. So this is also another useful shortcut when you're moving clips around. So let's just undo that and move those back. So you can see the tilde clicking here, it's gonna ignore the fact those are connected and just shuffle the clips below without the tilde being held down. When I move those, they're all gonna to move together. So a couple of real useful shortcuts there for working with and moving those clips around the timeline. We'll just have one more quick look at how this works. So I'm gonna just come to my last clip here. We'll grab this splatter effect text from the FX power tools. We'll overlay this over the, the car clip at the end. I'm gonna use option and the right square bracket to trim it down to the right length. You can see we get this nice little animation. We can change our text up here. We can increase the size of the font, get it working nicely in there. And then we'll just drop down the opacity of that background layer, just so that that pops out a bit more. So you can see we get this nice little animation on that road trip type. So now if we move this clip, because that connection for this road trip type is right on the beginning of that clip, they're gonna to move together. So as I shuffle these, they're gonna to move together. So for instance, I want the animation for this clip to happen a little bit before this clip pops on, then I can move it to the left there. And now you can see that road trip type is happening there. But if I move these clips around, 
the clip is not following it. So again, all to do with this connection to that main storyline. So if we move this back, hold down Option and Command and click, now I have my connection right to that clip. I can stretch this out a little bit at the end. And so now you can see the animation for that happens a little bit beforehand. Sometimes it's nice to overlay those edits in and amongst each other. It can help to smooth the transition. And so now you can see we've got that road trip type fading on. And now when we move any of these clips around, they have the associated type or graphics connected to them on the storyline. So super useful tip for connecting those clips, making sure that you're keeping control of your edit within Final Cut Pro. So thanks for watching. If you do have any questions about this or other tips and tricks in Final Cut Pro, then please do leave a comment below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.